and welcome back. Today we have the Buzz TV HD5 and pretty excited about this one. This one is, it says advertised 16 gigs of internal storage with two gigs of RAM. Pretty good, pretty interesting, pretty cool. Um, good travel one too. If you guys are interested, make sure you guys leave me an email, uh, shoot me an email, rojasentertainment at gmail.com. I get you guys hooked up with one of these. Um, if you guys are brand new to the channel, always consider subscribing and leave me a comment below. Let me know if you guys have tested any of the Buzz products. So when you first open it up, you are welcomed with one of these guys is just kind of like for more information for the smart remote stuff like that double-sided nice and then here is the device itself this dongle um it's kind of small um it does have the built-in hdmi so you don't have to worry about that you just plug it and go um i personally do like these dongles just because I don't know. They're they're interesting. Um, you do have a reset button here on the side. You do have Ethernet, HDMI, and USB C power. That is good. I like the new tech. You are greeted here with um, looks like a power supply, some cables, and the BT four hundred smart remote. So there it is, right there. Now this one has a EU and the US plug. So when you do, if you are using the EU, it's pretty simple. This thing just opens up like this, plug it in. And this is the one that I'm used to. If you have, if you're going out of the country, you kind of lift this up and then this guy just slides in just like this. And then now you could use that one wherever you're at. So it's pretty cool. It's, it's meant, it's meant for travel. If you are traveling great, if you don't travel that much, or if you're just like, no, I'm not going to take this one with me, then just leave it at home. It's a great little device that you could plug in just about anywhere. Now here is their BT 400 remote. Um, we've tested this remote before kind of resembles like the, the, the Google, the G 200 i think it is something similar like that it's okay it's not bad um they did come up with another one the bt 200 which is nice um, but this one i do like because i think you could actually plug these things into certain apps and you also also have a power light on this the only thing i don't like is the directional thing here it's just it it, it, it doesn't feel like the center button and the up down left right button is separated but other than that's great you do get um some uh some double a batteries so make sure you plug that in and then yeah let's plug this device in and see how it looks you can see the remotes already light up I'm not sure why it's just lit like that it's just on normally i put it in and um and i think it's trying to sync up to the device so okay so here we go so there goes the launcher and I should get the instructions on how to set up and stuff like that. Honestly, just go through the on-screen instructions. Pretty simple. Okay, so here we go. It says it's going to be that I need a pair. So I need to hold the enter button and hit the home button. So it says status scanning on the bottom left-hand corner. So hold it. Uh, keep it three feet from... This is about three feet. I'm not that far. So just hold it until the LED starts flashing the light. So the light is on solid. It's not blinking at all. It's just solid. So if it's anything like this where it's trouble, where I, we need to troubleshoot it, what I'd like to do is I just take the battery out and then it turns off and then just put the battery back in and we should be good. Okay, so uh, I took the batteries out a couple times, put it back in. I just hit the power button and the lights all turned off and that light turned off too. So something must have been stuck. So here we go. We're going to try this one more time. There's a quick little troubleshoot there for you. Wait for that light to start flashing. And there it goes. It's flashing. Watch the bottom left-hand corner. It says it's still scanning, status scanning. So I'm just, I'm just going to wait until this thing picks it up. Remote found. Cool. So it's pretty easy, pretty seamless. Any kind of troubleshooting issues that you need with the remote, that's how to do it. Okay, now from here, just follow the on-screen instructions. Whatever you need to do uh, to follow what it is with time zones, with languages, with whatever, um, Wi-Fi settings, just follow the steps and go through the whole process. It takes literally about maybe two minutes at the most. There we go. So you're going to get something like that where it says something about an update and it's going to go boom, 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 like fast. Um, it does a quick check if they're if it's already up to date, it's just going to skip it um, and then it's going to start installing stuff. So I always tell everyone 
when it goes through this process, especially when you're first setting it up, just let it do its thing. You're going to notice some screens flashing, some turning off, turning on, whatever. Once it's completely done, right here it says installing, please wait. Please wait. Wait until all these pop-ups and everything is done. This right here means done. This means it's done doing with what it's doing. So let's look at the specs and see what we get. Okay, so I just got IDA64. Um, pretty simple to do. Google APK Pure or just type in IDA64 APK. You should be good to go. This is a really good app to get. So that way you know everything about the device. Now this one in particular, this model, this is the HD5, um, 16 gigs advertised. You're left with a little bit over 10 gigs, which is great. Two gigs of RAM, Amlogic chipset, beast, awesome. Um, it is running a quad-core ARM Cortex A35, pretty good. As far as your display goes, you are going to pull up the full resolution. 1920 by 1080p is my capture card, so that's what it's going to pull up. Uh, the GPU, Mali G31, very, very popular on the GPU side. As far as your Android goes, it is going to be running Android 11, and the device is not rooted. Now, when it comes to codecs, super important here. Um, you do have lots of codecs, LATM, 3GBP, WB, Flock, ALA, uh, AMR, uh, MLAW, MPEG, Opus, RAW, Vorbis, all that stuff. Some of these you are going to notice that they're like quadruplets. So it's like decoder and encoder for C2 or OMX. So um, just keep that in mind when you're going through all that. Now, as far as your video goes, your video, you do get uh, VP6, AV01, AVC, AVS, HEVC, RM1020, 3040. Um, tons of awesome decoders, which is great. WMV1, 2, and 3. 3 GPP, H.263, H.264, VP8, VP9, everything that you're going to want that's in 4K, um, surround sound, this thing's going to be able to read just about everything. Personally, I do like to see the Dolby stuff, um, or DTSH, DTSHD, or DTHD, anything like that, just, which is great, but all this stuff should be able to read everything, but it's all there. Um, so stay tuned to the next video, because I am going to show you guys some more specs on this stuff, how to mess with the remote a little bit more. Um, how to keep it updated, just tons of cool options with this guy. With all that being said, I hope you guys appreciated today's episode. You guys take care, take care of each other, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Mm -hmm.